So today we're gonna do a little get ready with me and a little bit of a intro just about me because I always get questions about how I got started with sewing and so I figured while I'm getting ready, let's chat. So I started sewing about, I think about three years ago at this point. I learned how to use a sewing machine for my mom when I was little, but I didn't do anything with it until about three years ago. I just decided I needed a hobby. Once I like was secure in my work, I was working out, you know, social life was good. I was like, I need a legit hobby. So I bought a sewing machine and I was like, worst case scenario, I can just fix like holes in my clothes and like hem stuff if I need to. But I watched all these YouTube videos of girls people doing thrift flips and like making new clothes and I thought it was so cool. So I was like, I feel like I can do that. So I bought a sewing machine and I just started practicing. My first thing I ever made was this like drawstring pouch. I YouTubed easy sewing tutorials for beginners. And it was like a drawstring pouch and I'm not even joking or exaggerating. I sew the entire rectangle shut and it was just a rectangle like it wasn't even a pouch so my first project was a complete failure <laughs> but hopefully if you're getting started and you've had some mess ups like that gives you a little bit of comfort that it gets better i promise i recommend starting with just like cheap fabric and just practicing like practicing stitches getting comfortable with your machine i used to go to like ross and buy curtains or cheap bed sheets like on clearance so that I could have like a bunch of fabric, cut it all up, mess around with it. And if I destroyed it, it really didn't matter because it cost me like $7 for probably like three yards of fabric or whatever it, the equivalent was. Rather than the alternative of going to a fabric store, you could end up spending like 20, 30 dollars for the same thing if not even more and then you could be really disappointed and discouraged if it messes up and you wasted your money so yeah that's all i did in the beginning and i would i was not a sewing pattern person mostly because the youtube videos that i thought were really cool were people just like tracing their own clothes or taking body measurement and like making a skirt just using a measuring tape so i thought that was really fun and then over time i eventually got into sewing patterns they were a little discouraging for me because I I didn't understand them. And so for me, I actually feel like I grew a lot just from making things on my own and not following a pattern. Because when I would follow a pattern, I feel like I would pick the wrong size or I would not understand the lingo as much as I tried to Google everything. And that just wasn't as fun of a process for me. But honestly, whatever works, best for you is what you should do if you prefer the structure of following a pattern that's awesome it just wasn't really how my brain worked with sewing and over time i would say that following patterns has helped me grow a lot because once i started to follow them and understand them i feel like i picked up more techniques that i didn't know prior to doing the patterns because they'll give you instructions on how to construct something and then I would start to realize like, oh, I can use this for other projects where I make things on my own. And there is something nice to be said about a pattern. Like, you know it will be constructed properly if you follow the directions well. Whereas if you make it on your own, it might just be a complete failure. You never really know. But yeah, so I started doing that, made a few simple clothing items and then COVID hit. And as most people, they had a lot more free time than usual. And so I actually really wanted, I love like volunteering, love doing things to give back. And during COVID, I remember having all this free time at home and just being like, oh, I wish there was something I could do to help everybody. Over the course of COVID, I made over a thousand masks um, and I did it all nonprofit. So yeah, I, I really got into sewing more then just from using my machine more frequently, making the masks. Once that kind of slowed down, I then was like, okay, now I still have all this free time and now I'm like really comfortable on my machine. So let me start making a few more things. And that's when I started to make more serious clothing that I would wear more frequently rather than my first few were, were things that like were just easy projects and I was super proud of them but they weren't like clothes I was stoked on wearing all the time. So I started to just practice and make more clothes and I shared my journey on my Instagram stories mostly and it's just been really fun like learning so much from other girls sharing on their stories and connecting with other people with shared hobbies and creative mindset around like fashion. That's been 
really fun. And once I started creating reels, I, that's where I feel the most creative. I, I don't love taking pictures. Stories can be hard to stay up to date with because it's so real time. But Reels goes in line with what I do for work. I do digital advertising. I'm a director of a paid media team. And so we make video ads on my team and I'm really comfortable with doing that, making like interesting kind of fast paced, catchy ads. And so that just clicked for me when I started making sewing videos. And I think it's so fun to pair it with music and show the process and then the end result. And over time, I think I've realized I want to share more tutorials again, but that was just really fun. I love seeing people follow my tutorials or just people who are inspired to sew as well because that happened for me with a lot of other sewing girls where I saw their videos and I was just like, wow, I want to do this. So I hope I do that for people. I, I see some people message sometimes, but it's just a really cool thing. So over time, I realized I wanted to make patterns and that stemmed from the fact that I do a lot of self-drafting and I would get so many comments like, oh, I wish this was a pattern. Do you have a pattern? Blah, 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 stuff like that. So I started to do research on that. I just Googled, looked at YouTube. What I do to figure out anything, I just Google in YouTube as much information as I can. And then usually you can find someone who gives you some insight. So I decided to go, since I don't have any pattern making training, I outsourced and found a pattern designer on just like a Skillshare website. And I'm able to send them my designs, all the measurements, and they digitize it for me. And then I write the everything else, all the instructions, and I list it on Etsy. And so, yeah, that's kind of how I got into sewing, how I got into pattern designing. And I hope to do lots more of it in the future. I'm hoping to share more YouTube tutorials, patterns, and just share more content because I was doing really good at it and then I kind of fell off and now I want to, I just want to help more people learn how to sew if you're not a formal fashion design girl. I, I learned just from YouTube, so I hope to do that for other people and just share what I know. And it's not always gonna be the perfect right way, but it's what works for me and I've had such a fun process. So comment if you have any questions. Hope you enjoyed this little intro and yeah, let me know what you wanna see from me because I'll be sharing a lot more content. Bye.